What is up, people? Van from the Vaniverse Gaming Channel here with another video on Conan Exiles. Today's video, I want to show you guys how to acquire a Greater Hyena pet. If you haven't already checked out my Greater Shellback video, you can click on the I in the top right hand corner. That's going to go into building the animal pen and all that. In today's video, I really just want to show you where you can find the baby versions of hyenas and then give you kind of an idea of what the ratio is of putting them into the pen and how many we can turn into graders. Similar to the shaleback, all grader pets have about 8,000 health. The reason why I wanted to give you guys the hyena pet is because it's probably the second easiest one to get. And also, it's a lot smaller. So I'm going to be doing some dungeon guides, and bringing the shell back along is just not going to work because it's in a close quarters. And so you actually get stuck, and you can't get past him. And because you're in a dungeon, you can't pick him up and move him. So having a smaller pet like a hyena is very helpful for some of those close quarter fights that you're inside of a building. So that's why we're going to do the hyena. So let's get started here. You can see I am situated right at the bottom of this ramp here. This is, uh, what is it, E4. It's right north of the, of the uh, beginner area, right above the river, and you can see I'm right by the dregs. Now, this is where I go to pick up the pets, um, the baby versions. Uh, these are striped over here. There are two different versions of hyena, striped and spotted. It doesn't matter which ones you pick up. They all, all both of them actually convert into the same greater hyena. Um, you'll find these things all over this middle section of the map here, all down around the uh, north of the Nubie River. I mean, hyenas are everywhere, kind of like shellbacks. There's not as many uh, babies, I feel, as there are shellback babies, but they're probably number two in the amount that are available to pick up. So here we go. We're going to run up this little hill here, and pretty much the goal is to grab five. Now, they do weigh 50 pounds each. Um, I won't be able to carry five with my current setup, um, so just keep that in mind when you're going to grab these. If you can't get them all at one time, you might have to come back, but the goal is to fill up your pen with five at a time. You don't have to. Um, but that's what I would do. So right at the top here, you'll see there are three right here to pick up. So once you pick up three, you can go exploring here. You're going to get two more. But you can see I got the striped hyenas right here. Um, come equipped with a weapon. There are a lot of hyenas in this area, and they are kind of annoying. Now, one of the other benefits of having a hyena pet versus a shellback is they do have a cripple effect for the pet. Um, so let's show you guys kind of once you pick them up and put them in your pen what the ratio looks like and then we'll bring the greater version with us to kind of show you how well they attack and how good they are. So I'm going to actually uh, port over to my uh, base where I have all my stuff. This is I'm in admin mode on this. I don't have any cheats on for like damage or anything. I'm just able to port throughout the map. And so here we go. If you watch my greater shellback video, you'll notice that this was the pen that we used. Um, so I went out and I got 50 of the spotted hyenas and 50 of the striped hyena babies. And I put all 50 into the animal pen. And the food that the hyenas love to eat is going to be feral flesh, which is also extremely easy to get. Pretty much any of the imps or um, even the hyenas, if you kill them and you bring a hatchet, you're pretty much going to get a lot of feral flesh off of them. So they really do pretty good converting on feral flesh. So 50 spotted and 50 striped, and here is what my, my turnout ratio was, which was actually quite shocking to me. All right, so of... You can see I got all sorts of different hyena here. So these are the striped version. These are the spotted version. But look up top here. All of these are greater hyenas. All of them. So I put in 100 total hyenas. And of 100, I got 29 greater hyenas. So that was kind of shocking to me. If you watch my greater shellback video, I didn't get near that ratio. Um, and then I also noticed that on the striped hyenas, every time I put five in the pen, I always got a greater back. So when it comes to getting a greater pet, it feels like the hyenas are a great way to get a greater pet real early. 
And though the babies, there's not many around, um, there's still uh, a better ratio to get to a greater. So it's almost as good, if not better, than the uh, greater shaleback. So right here, this is our greater hyena. Okay. Um, so if you look at him, he has 8,265 health. And if you look at him, he has 8,265 health. So there's no difference in their health, but there is in how they attack. So what I'm going to do is, uh, because we are in ad, uh, admin mode, but I have no uh, health, I'm going to just spawn down below because I don't want to jump and die. And then we'll kind of show you how the hyena combat works. All right, so he should have come with me. So here he is. So he's following me. So let's just kind of show you how he fights compared to the greater shaleback. Um, all right, here we go. So he actually has a cripple effect on him, which makes him really nice. So watch. There you go. He's crippled. And look at his damage. He attacks extremely fast as well. So here. Three attacks, dead. So you can see how much damage he does. Um, he has the same amount as the uh, as the greater shaleback. Um, when it comes to the damage he takes, he's a little bit less tanky than the greater shaleback, um, but he should still be a really good pet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to show you that the second, maybe even the best pet to get at an early level could be a hyena. They're very easy to convert to a greater. And they're going to be very helpful when we go to some of the dungeons that we're going to do dungeon guides on later on, like the um, Frost Temple and the Black Keep and that kind of stuff. So appreciate you guys watching. Give it a like if you like it. This is Van from Vaniverse Gaming Channel. Cheers. Peace out.